Today I'm going to be spending the next 24 hours in the world's smallest Jeep and driving it over 100 miles across the beautiful state of North Carolina. The goal is to drive it from the T-Bar house here all the way to the beach because how amazing would it be to drive this mini Jeep on the sand? This mini road trip is going to be crazy so watch this video all the way to the end. This is a regular brand new Jeep and over here is the world's smallest gas powered Jeep and this thing is tiny. It's got two seats, it's two wheel drive with lock diffs on the back, it's got a three speed transmission and shifter, a gasoline engine, electric start, even has working headlights and turn signals, making this thing basically like a real Jeep, just super small. Believe it or not, this thing actually gets 100 miles to gallon in a one gallon gas tank. So give or take, I should be able to make it if I'm good on gas mileage all the way 100 miles to the beach, which is gonna be amazing. And I got this thing on Amazon Prime. Let's get started with this road trip and let me show you how cool this mini Jeep is. Check it out, electric start, when it starts right up. Woo! And to prove this thing is actually a Jeep, let me show you what it can do off-road. That little Jeep is gonna do what normal Jeeps can do. It has to be able to pass all these tests. Test number one, we're gonna see if it can go in the water. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's see if Carter can keep up. Oh boy, this is scary. And look, look, here's the water. Oh my gosh, we are in it. I don't know, Andrew. I don't even know if your Jeep's gonna be able to do it. <laughs> We're tilting a little bit. This is scary. Andrew's trying to show me that this is a test that Jeeps can do. I don't even think his full-size Jeep can do it. This is a brand new Jeep, and I do not want to roll it over into the water. Oh, you're starting to sink. Oh my gosh. Oh, your tires, you're slipping. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna, oh, you're sinking. Get out of there. I might need some help. Uh-oh. We're tilted pretty far. Oh my gosh, guys, Jeep test number one is off to a uh, little bit of a scary start. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta save passengers out of the Jeep because look, guys, we're about to sink it in the lake. This is brand new, Andrew, you can't lose it. I can't roll it now, this thing is brand new. And he just got it detailed like 45 minutes ago. Here we go, rescue squad. We got a big Ford truck to rescue the little Jeep. Wow, I really dug out the mud here. My feet are sinking deep. Matt, we need a rescue, the Jeep got stuck. I see that. The mini Jeep's gonna be able to do this is just fine. I can't wait to show you guys. Andrew, I think you should trade it in for a mini. I can't believe this. It's like a $70,000 electric Jeep. It's really cool. Couldn't even do a little bit of squishy mud. We got the Ford truck with the strap trying to get Andrew out. Let's get a little tension on it first. Make sure that hook is hooked. Oh my gosh. You have no idea, dude. My heart has been stopped this entire time. I mean, it's a brand new car. I would be freaking out too if it just rolled over into the water. Wow, it was all the way up to the black trim. Just about to go inside your doors. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show a real Jeep how it's done because this little Jeep can go anywhere. Let's go! There's no way that little Jeep is gonna be able to do even close to what this thing did. He's definitely going swimming. Guys, comment down below if you think the little Jeep can go nowhere a real Jeep can. Here we go, into the water. I don't wanna go too deep. This is where Andrew got stuck. Yeah! No way! Oh. Oh! 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 Come on, little Jeep! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That thing's only two wheel drive. I can't believe that. My backpack full of water. No, not the Team Rock Merch. But we still made it. Yes! Success! Little Jeeps are clearly better than big Jeeps. Woo! On to test number two. Test two is the hill climb with a twist. Andrew with the normal size Jeep, you're up first. I'm a little nervous after that last test, but let's give it a shot. All right, Jeep Rubicon, let's go. Oh boy. Woo. Oh, that's a steep angle already. This is really the steep. The water is pouring out. Wait, there's water in it? Uh, a little bit of water. Okay, this is the hard part because it's got a hill climb with a bump. Oh, oh. did you hit your frame? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, and I think that is a successful pass, but he did uh, drip some water and hit his frame. So let's see if I can do any better. We actually made that pretty easy. That was surprising. Actually, I guess not. That's what Jeeps are supposed to be doing. Time for mini Jeep. <laughs> Let's go! Woohoo! Yes! Come on, baby! Oh. Yes! Even easier! Yes! 
All right, Carter, you might have done a little bit better than me on those last two challenges, but this next challenge, there's no way that little Jeep will win it. This next test is gonna get us straight into the road trip because we are going out to the street to see what is faster, the real Jeep or the mini Jeep. Woohoo! There's no way that little Jeep is gonna be able to keep up with the pace of this big Jeep. Andrew, you're up first for this test. You ready? I think so. All right, send it. Here we go. Getting on the road. And he's off and going. 30 miles an hour. Woo-hoo! Woo! Easily hit the speed limit there. We're cruising. No way Carter's gonna hit that speed. I gotta say, guys, I'm actually a little bit nervous about this test because this Jeep is really small. It does have blinkers and everything, but I think if anything, his Jeep is definitely faster. Only one way to find out. So far, so good! Yeah! I think that might be a police officer. Oh, no! Oh, no! I think he wanted us waiting for him way up here. here and wait for Carter. We made it pretty far. It'll probably take his little Jeep a little while to catch up. Holy stop your God. God. Come on. Jeez, all right, so Carter's taking forever. I mean, this is supposed to be a high-speed test. Where is he? He should be here by now. I think he's gone. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? My heart is racing right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, I'm just gonna take a nap real quick. Yo, Andrew. Where are you, dude? I've been waiting forever. Uh, did you see that cop on the side of the road? Uh, Undercover cop, he turned his lights on, he chased me. I made a run for it, I turned off, and I'm in the middle of the woods. What should I do? Book it through the back way back to our house. <sighs> okay, all right. I'll circle back and meet you there. All right, sounds good. Good luck. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I don't really know where I am right now, but there's no way I'm going back on the road with this thing because I'm sure the cop is out there looking for me. Let's see. Oh. Is that the cop car? Definitely do not try this at home. I think it's coming after me. Am I getting pulled over right now? I made it out, guys. We are back at the Team Roar house. This is great. Scary guys, I've never been pulled over before. Oh jeez. Here, quick, put put the camera down. Don't don't let the cops see. Son, do you know uh, why I pulled you over? Sir, no, I have no idea. I'm looking for a mini little Jeep. Have you seen one? Well, I mean, that wouldn't be me. This is a big Jeep. I'm looking for one a little bit smaller than this one. I think it's a tan color. Mm. You saw one or no? Uh, I can't say I've seen any Jeeps around here. No. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've yeah. got a job to do. All right, good luck, All officer. Right, good, good luck looking for that little Jeep. Oh, Andrew's calling me. Andrew, what's up? Cops are at the house. I repeat, the cops are at the house. You gotta get away from the property. And they said they're specifically looking for a tan mini Jeep. What, what should I do? I'm at the house. Meet me down by the garages. I have a plan. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right. Andrew said to come around this side. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm literally running from the cops. Ooh, feels like I'm playing an actual game of Grand Theft Auto, and now I'm in the spray paint booth. So I don't know what to do now, Andrew. I play a lot of GTA. With you running from the cops, you're probably at about three stars. Three stars? Andrew, this isn't a video game. This is real life. There's cops out there looking for me. If you just spray paint it a different color, how about blue? <laughs> It might take your stars down. You go down to zero stars. It always works. Trust me, I've done it. Putting video game myths to the test. Let's do it. Wow, not bad. I think it looks great. It looks sick. And now it's time for the grand reveal. <laughs> yeah, look at this thing. It looks awesome. Where are we going? Come on, we gotta test out the GTA myth. Dude, you know how much I weigh? I'm almost like 200 pounds. Don't underestimate mini Jeep. Let's okay. go. This is it guys, we are testing a video game myth and that is if you paint your car, you will lose all of your wanted stars. We originally had three, let's see if we're back to zero. Here we go, Woo! Team Rar just launched brand new shirts, guys. These are amazing. The one I'm wearing right here is the green, and Andrew has got the blue and old. We also have them in pink and orange. Go to teamrar.com at the end of this video and go get one for yourself before they sell out. Oh. Did you 
hear that? I don't know. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, the intake fell off. What? That's not good. The mini Jeep is quite literally falling apart. We've probably driven about 20 miles since the start of the today's video. The goal is 100 miles, but we're also nowhere near the beach. <laughs> this is not looking good. I think we're about to make a pit stop. I know who to call. That's where Carter called. Hello? Hey, Liz. Hey, Carter. We were trying to go all the way to the beach. The cops are following us, but we're gonna have to see if we can get it started. If we can, we're probably gonna come to your house for a pit stop. Wait, what? Okay, great, I'll see you soon, bye. <laughs> We gotta see if it'll get started, Andrew. Uh -oh. <laughs> made it! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Liz! Are you okay? Oh yeah. Gosh, are you hurt? I'm You're good. Dead. What happened to your hand? It's a long story, but we went out on the road. I passed the cop. I got pulled over, but I didn't stop. I made a run for it, and I outran the cops. So I'm a fugitive. Then they pulled Andrew over, painted this so we'd camouflage, and we made it here, but then it broke down. And we're trying to make it to the beach, but it's not looking good. Carter, you can't make it to the beach. It's getting dark. I know. I'm afraid, honestly, at this point, that we're probably like almost out of gas, and this thing is not looking good. <laughs> it smells smoky in there. It doesn't smell right. I don't have a beach for you to off-road on, but why don't you just test it out in these big piles of dirt I have? Plus, you can do whatever you want because all of this is my land so no cops that sounds good let's ride this thing until it breaks <laughs> you ready liz i'm ready oh, oh this is crazy i feel like we're on planet mars oh. oh i don't know if we can make it is this thing four wheel drive no oh, oh it's so crazy. steep oh. oh there's no way all right here we go oh. miles today guys which is not our 100 mile goal but we did run into the cops and outrun them which was really dope guys if this video gets over a thousand likes we will try this again and try to reach our goal all the way to the beach and drive these mini jeeps 100 miles subscribe we'll see you guys on the next vlog peace